having a stable home, it's the beginning of everything. Kids that come from stable homes do better in school. You know, folks that have stable homes are healthier. They can focus on their health. Everyone should have a nice, high quality, safe, decent place to live. And just because you might be low wealth or low income, doesn't mean that that can't be made available to you. Affordable housing can be integrated into the redevelopment of downtowns all over the state. And you know, now that it's happened and everybody involved's gotten it done and we see the end product that we're like, we can't go back to doing things the way we used to, you know. Folks aren't gonna look at affordable housing the same after having an opportunity to see Willard Street. Twenty twenty was a really hard year for me. I was going from job to job because places were opening and closing because of COVID. I ended up living with my baby girl for eight months. And that was awkward because I took care of her all her life and now here I am living with her. And when I got the email from Willow Street Apartments. I knew that 2021 was about to be better. It's very affordable. It takes away the fear of going to your mailbox and getting that bill that you know you cannot pay. This is definitely home for me. And my apartment screams, Renee. Durham Kean's work is rooted in a theory of change that looks at the pressures that our families and our neighbors are facing. And one of the concerns that we were hearing from our institutions was the growing need for affordable and low income housing because of how the community was continuing to grow. For instance, residents find themselves being priced out and pushed out of the communities that they've lived in for generations. The campaign resulted in Durham can identifying these lots of city owned and county owned vacant land and proposing to build low-income affordable housing on these lots that were also close uh, to public transportation. That campaign really spurred, I think, a new conversation within the city about how to meet this burgeoning need. We desperately, desperately want downtown to be a place where lots of different people can afford to live uh, and not just those people with a lot of money. And Willow Street is that. This is beautiful housing by anyone's standards. And all of our affordable housing needs to be of this caliber. But to get to that really did take just a tremendous amount of work. You know, it took a lot of political will to say that we wanted to spend the money to donate the land to make this happen. Uh, it took bringing in uh, other partners as well as the city's fund. So all that needed to happen. And then we needed to win a competitive 9% low income housing tax credit and it was an opportunity um, to really be part of this experiment where we could show that you could do, you know, high quality affordable housing in an infill site in downtown where you're, we're seeing, you know, the costs go through the roof for rent and all the market rate development and luxury housing and, and not enough housing for, you know, low to moderate income families. My name is Andrea Gatewood. I'm getting ready to move to Willow Street. I'm going to take you around and just kind of show you everything. Oh, Missy! Oh, Missy! Look out and see me at the bus station. <laughs> I catch the bus to work, and sometimes I was having to catch the bus home in the dark, so I didn't like that at all. I feel like I'm not going to be stressed anymore. Self help and DHIC joined together. We submitted an application saying we, we thought we'd be a good developer for this site. And so we were selected by the city through that process unanimously. And then we moved forward and went out and got the financing for the project, which includes both tax credits that are key to uh, affordable housing rental development like this, but also funding from Duke University. Capital broadcasting is kind of key private pieces to, to help make this project happen. The core mission of the institution is around teaching and research and healthcare. But we recognize that housing is really a social driver of health, and we want to be a part of creating that access and opportunity for all residents in Durham. What Willow Street is, is proof of concept. This is what affordable housing is and will be in Durham, and we're going to do thousands of units of this kind of housing over the next few years. What Willard Street speaks to me is like, this is what leadership looks like, and this is what can happen when people are clear about what's important to them, uh, willing to be courageous, willing 
to try something, to take a risk, and most importantly, willing to work together, willing to talk, willing to navigate all of the messiness, you know, the speed of community organizing versus the speed of like commercial real estate development are very different. But I think the outcome is worth it.